from eHub Fishing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Dacron loop. Uh, this here we use for trolling, for marlin, for game fishing, tuna, anything like that. Just a, it's a good way of putting the line into the outrigger um, instead of using something like a rubber band. Um, they're sort of semi-fixed on your main line and um, we find them quite useful for when, uh, for when we're fishing. So basically I'll give you a quick rundown on how we like to make our Dacron loops. Everyone's got a little bit of a different technique and different way of doing it. Um, but I'll show you how we like to do it. So for, to make these, basically you'll need a pair of scissors, lighter, um, you'll need some Dacron, depending on the size of the line that you're going to be using. Um, depends on the size of the Dacron. Today I'm doing it with 80 pound main line. Um, when fishing with 80 pound, you can actually use 50 pound Dacron, so it's got a really nice tight lock on the main line, so it doesn't slide too much. Um, then I'll also show you how to lock it in place. So for today I'm using 50 pound Dacron. Um, Sweet, well, I'll, uh, we'll get started. Alright, to start making this Dacron loop here, <clears throat> basically, first of all, we need to have, get our two appropriate needles. So, the two needles that we use, basically, I'm using a Dahu needle, I'm using a loop needle, and then I'm also using an, a hollow 80 pound pipe needle. Okay, so, those are our two needles that we'll be using today. Basically, from there, we then get our Dacron. We pick how long we want to make our loop. Now some people like this very long, some people will like their loops very very long. I don't, I find I don't need them huge because I'm using 50 pound Dacron on 80 pound line. I find I don't have to make them super long. So just measure out how long you'd like it and cut it there. From there, <clears throat> what you need to do is we need to get our pipe, oh sorry, our, we need to get our loop needle. So it's just a small needle with a loop on the end. From there, pick one arm come down a little bit depending on how big you want to make your loop and you actually just want to come into the hollow, the middle of the Dacron just sort of work the end of the needle into the Dacron and just work the needle down the Dacron All right. <clears throat> from there you want to work it up to the eye make sure the eye doesn't go through you then want to get your tag into the Dacron and go through the loop and then work it up until it touches the Dacron. From there what you want to do is you sort of just want to roll your fingers on the Dacron and you'll see it will just jump inside. Nice and easy, you don't want to pull on it or anything like that, it will just work its way in. And then just work the rest of the Dacron through. You can pull the loop needle off and take that away. Now I've got my loop and I've got the double Dacron. What I want to do from here is actually want to create the size of my loop. So you don't need a huge loop, like it's only going into a small, either like a gold finger or a black, black clip. So you don't need a massive loop. From there, you just make your loop and you just pull the rest of the Dacron down. So it's tight over the other side. Alright, so now I've got finished here, finished here. And so what, you're, what I like to do is I like to trim the two flat. So I just want to cut it. I like to trim the two taggings of Dacron even. From there, basically we push our 80 pound, whatever needle you're going to be using, so if I'm going to be using 80 pound line, I'll get my 80 pound needle and I'll put it in this back side of the loop. Now the whole point to this is because the Dacron basically will start fraying, so we push an 80 pound Dacron needle into it and then we'll actually just singe, lightly singe the end of the Dacron and then pull it out. Basically what they've done does is it just seals the two bits of Dacron together so they won't move um, but it also opens a bit enough hole that an 80 pound needle will go through. Okay, From there, so that's my completed loop. So that's the loop and so you can go through and make 10 of them if you need to or depending on how many rods you're doing at the time so basically you can go through and now I've got two loops there. From there basically you just grab your loop <clears throat> and now we're going to put it onto our main line. So to do this basically what we do is we get where the Dacron goes inside the other Dacron, I like to get the needle and basically just slowly work it inside there. And so you're working it inside the two sleeves of Dacron. Okay, so it's made its way inside both. If you're only inside one and not the other, it's not super important. Um, it doesn't have to be, because this isn't being used for any strength or anything, it's just holding, you know, depending on how much tension you have on your clip. Um, I'm only running sort of about sort of three to five kilos in my clip, so it doesn't actually have to be super strong. Um, so it, it, as long as it's going down either one or two of the tubes um, this part here can take a little bit of time it'll try and pop its way out all the time things like that so just keep 
keep slowly working it down down the two lengths of Dacron you see this one my example is not the best uh, but like I said as long as you as long as it is going down down the Dacron it's fine and then it'll just pop out the bottom okay <clears throat> so now we have the Dacron loop on a pipe needle we can then get our 80 pound line this is Veravis IGFA 80 basically slide it inside your 80 pound needle and then all we do is we just slide the Dacron loop onto the 80 pound okay. pull the needle out now that there will sit on our 80 pound line and once you extend it you'll see it's just got a little loop sitting off to the side now this loop here some people will fish it like this um, and you'll see if I pull on the loop end if I hold the main line and pull it it won't move but the trouble is if I pull on this end it'll move okay and so what we do from there is that you can then go tie it onto this end you can tie your lure or your wind on or anything onto there so that so this end here is the rear end this here is your lure end so as it goes into your outrigger it sits in your outrigger with the loop like that and then this end is heading towards your lure okay and so from there basically when we're fishing we can actually set this in places like a marker and so if you get a bite or a knockdown you can basically go grab the loop and put it back straight in the clip and it's exactly in the same place to do that we grab some dental floss basically we pull off about 20 or 30 centimeters dental floss double it over now this here because it's not a permanent fixture like I might want to move it later on like I'm just it's not permanent, it's just semi-permanent, so it's sort of fixing in place enough that we can fight fish and it can get knocked out of the rigger and everything like that and not move. But then if I do want to move it, I still can. So what I do is I get the doubled dental floss, just double it over, come down to the end of the Dacron loop. Basically just grab, go both tag ends through the loop. Basically you just want to pull that down, right down to the end. Okay, and so you just... Uh, Try and make it, it doesn't have to be super neat, it is a little bit easier when you've got a bit of tension on the line. Just pull that half inch down. I then like to do five half inches. So it's nothing nothing super super strong. It's just basically what, what it will create is I'll show you what it ends up creating. five half inches and then I usually just do a quick finishing so I usually just go through two or three times doesn't have to be super super strong pull that just pull that down it's just to stop it coming undone so just, okay, and then trim it off okay, and so that little bit of wax thread right at the bottom of the Dacron loop what that's created is that when I pull on it from this side, basically it makes it a lot harder to move. Okay, so it's a lot stronger there than what it was. So when you're pulling that way, it won't move. And then when it goes in and out of the guide, basically it won't, as anything rubs over it that way, basically it won't move as well. So basically that there just fixes it in place. And then if I do want to move it, basically I just bunch it up. And I can still slide it along the line, spread it back out, and just back fishing again. Nice, quick, and that's just how we like to set up our Dacron loops.